In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four pyramid options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first option here. You can add the title, the icon and the option number and the detailed text. And when I click, it will show me the second option. OK, then the third option and the fourth option. And I've added one ladder where a person is trying to climb to the to reach the option one or to, to its goal. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this QR code. If you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the right triangle, draw the right triangle, maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d move the other side and rotate i can make it flip horizontal and the, this one i'm going to keep it somewhat top like this you can see a little bit gap and then this is a bit higher or taller than this one all right then i'm going to insert one more shape I'm going to select this rectangle. This rectangle, I'm going to start from the, the top part till the bottom part here. All right. Let me just give some different color and shape outline. Make it no outline and make sure this is also a no outline. All right. Now, let me just give uh, some kind of a transparency effect for this one. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is this particular options, I'm going to cut into four uh, pieces okay or four sections for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some different color combination and then i'm going to make the height as 0 0.01 okay so i'm just going to put it here one hold the control shift key one more here and one more here all right so now let me just move a little bit down and this also a little bit down and then let me just thread all these three lines align and say distribute vertically so that equal spacing will be given now i'm going to do the same thing here press ctrl d to duplicate and move it here all right like this and make sure that this line should cross this one okay so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one so first of all i'm going to select all these shapes here the right side only the right triangle and this small uh, rectangles okay then go to the shape format merge shape and just say fragment all right and then i'm going to delete all the unwanted objects here so you can see here it has uh, cut into four different pieces the same thing i'm going to do i'm going to select this one plus hold the shift key select this three rectangles again go to the shape format more shape and say fragment and delete the unwanted objects here which i don't need all right so i end up getting something like this now for this one and this one i'm going to give a color maybe i'm going to give uh, this color any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give more darker could be okay and here i'm going to give some orange kind of thing maybe here just i'm trying to give some different color combinations you can just choose any color of your choice maybe purple also all right now coming back to this one let me just make it somewhat less transparent okay now i'm going to cut the part from the top and the bottom so let me just change this color so that it will be visible for you people exactly what i'm trying to do let me just zoom in okay and here i'm going to insert shapes again i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle here it should go and meet this point okay shape outline make it no outline and hold the control shift key and drag this up all right sorry let me just delete this one and let me just move this up okay and i'm going to rotate it flip horizontal and flip vertical okay so make sure that it is properly aligned 
now i'm going to select this one hold the shift key select this uh, right triangle and subtract so I end up getting a shape something like this and here also i'm going to do the same thing and subtract but you can see here if i subtract this is visible so that means i have not put it properly here i have to align it properly okay make sure that it is aligned properly let me just do it again and subtract i think this is perfect now okay so i end up getting a shape something like this now again this also i'm going to cut this into four equal parts so again go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle shape outline no outline and the width or the height i'm going to give 0.01 okay and bring this down and rotate it and you have to rotate in such a way that this one and this should match okay like this from this angle to this angle you have to spend a little bit of time i think this is okay press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to put it here okay and press ctrl d again i think this is okay so now i'm going to select this shape and these three rectangles merge shape again fragment so again i end up getting a shape i don't want unwanted you can see here all these things i don't need i'm just going to delete it all right if it is not visible don't worry so that it can we can just remove one by one a little bit time it will take but you can do it okay so i think we have done this one and this also i'm going to delete okay i think this is fine so now again this also i'm going to give the same color what the color i have used okay make the transparent remove the transparent and make it more darker okay make it more darker here all right so coming back to this one i'm going to use the same color remove the transparency effect and it will be more darker okay you can see the difference and this also i'm going to remove the transparency effect and blue but it will be a more darker blue all right and then this is the purple and this again this will be more darker purple let me just put the darker purple here yeah so you can see here this is how we can make the design now if you want you can increase the size you can hold the you can select uh, press ctrl a and ctrl g to group it and if you want to increase the size you can hold the shift key and increase the size okay let me just remove these guides so once this is done what we can do is we can add some icons and some uh, options and some text so let's start adding the icons go to insert click on the icons these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint so randomly i am just going to add four icons here click insert and reduce the size to maybe 0.6 and put it here one by one at this corner all right and select all these options and fill this with white color and if you want you can reduce further maybe 0.5 will be idle all right and then go to insert text box i'm going to put as the option one zero one again if you want make it right align or center align, up to you make it white font make it bold i'm going to use the font called helvetica if you want increase the size here maybe a right align will look better i believe reduce the size press ctrl d to duplicate this is the second option the third option and the fourth option all right yeah so once this is done let me just ungroup this one and i'm going to group these objects only one two three four and five and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one group you can see that one and here also i'm going to do the same thing press ctrl g hold the shift key while selecting the objects press ctrl g sorry and then the last one 
control G all right then you can insert one arrow here to add some detailed text maybe this arrow the arrow and arrow type I'm going to use this oval shape okay and the color you can give some gray color and go to insert text box add detail text here all right reduce the font size maybe you can give gray color and then i'm selecting both of these press ctrl d to duplicate so this is the second option the third option give a gap and a fourth option here and this side let me just duplicate this one and here i'm going to give the title make it right align make it bold okay and gray color and put it here and both of these select hold the control shift key you can add like this or better press control d to duplicate and put it here for each option all right and if you'd like to add one ladder very simple you can go to insert and you can add the shape here one rectangle i'm going to add it okay shape outline no outline shape fill black and hold the control shift key i'm going to add one more here and then again duplicate this one reduce the size you can see here i'm just going to reduce it and rotate it and put it here in the center again further reduce it if it is required all right so now i'm just going to hold this one and control shift key duplicate this so this is i'm just adding few ladder steps here all right once this is done i'm going to select this object press control g to group it go to the effects go to the 3d rotation and i'm going to select this part okay which is the perspective contrasting left and put it here again if you want you can just you can see here i can just move bend it like this and you can just put it and if you want you can give some shadow effect as well all right so this is done and again if you want you can add some image of the person here and do the basic uh, animation effect for that let me just close this one go to the animations and enable the animation pane this one and this one let me just group it so that it will be easy for me to do the animation effect so let me just do it quickly this also i'm going to group it select this one with the help of uh, shift key and control g to group it okay so now the first thing i'm just going to give the animation effect for this one i'm going to use the wipe effect wipe maybe from left all right and then this also i'm going to use the same wipe effect this also from left and this should happen after previous and this also i'm going to select with the help of animation painter and this also should happen after previous so if i play it comes like this now it's easy for me i can just simply select this one and then for this one i can select this all right so if i play you can see here it comes like this so you can do the remaining objects also the same thing here